The first generation international model of the Yamaha MT15 was a well-rounded package. But the key reason for disappointment with the Indian version was cost cutting. And thankfully, in this first cycle of evolution, the MT15 version 2 has not been watered down for India. When it comes to aesthetic changes, things are largely limited to some new and sporty looking color schemes like this combination of grey and turquoise that we are riding. It also gets coloured alloy wheels that further enhance the sporty feel, but two crucial changes have been carried out by the chassis department. The MT15 now comes with 37mm upside down front forks, just like the R15. The outer tubes of the forks are painted golden, which gives a more premium look to the motorcycle. The other big change is the replacement of the box section swing arm with a cast aluminium unit. It promises to enhance the riding dynamics of this already nimble machine. The rest of its sharp and aggressive stance with the low-slung bifunctional LED projector headlight remains the same. And the LED position lights that flank the headlamp continue to give it a transformer-like face. The design of the MT15 is minimalistic, as a naked sport should be, and it is quite compact as well. In fact, it is so compact that it makes taller riders feel uncomfortable, while a rider of my size would feel very connected to it. The combination of its rear set foot pegs along with a flattened handlebar offers a sporty yet commanding riding position. The LCD instrument console is new as well, and it is again borrowed from the R15. It offers a long list of features including Bluetooth connectivity for calls, SMS and email notifications. But there is no navigation functionality which is offered in some other motorcycles in a similar price bracket. Yamaha also offers a smartphone app called Yconnect that provides some more information such as the last park location and fuel consumption data. The seat height thankfully remains accessible at 810mm and its single piece seat is quite comfortable as well. The suspension however has been tuned to be on the firmer side of things which transfers most of the undulations directly to your spine. But then, the firmly tuned USD forks and rear monoshock offer great confidence while tackling some twisty roads. The version 2 is less prone to flexing under load and exhibits greater stability especially while charging through a corner or braking hard. But to be honest, that is something we do occasionally. The main territory of this motorcycle is the concrete jungle and you will mostly find this bike being ridden in the city confines. That means Yamaha should have added a bit of plushness to the suspension setup, making it a little easier to live with. It is a bit disappointing to get a single-channel ABS at a price point which is well north of 150,000 Indian rupees. But this is also a decent deal for those who like to slide the rear intentionally. The overall setup though works well even under hard braking. Yamaha has decided not to mess with the engine and has stuck with the same 155 cubic centimeter single-cylinder liquid-cooled unit that comes with a variable valve actuation system. In fact, it is the only mass-segment motorcycle to feature this technology along with its paired sibling. The engine continues to make slightly over 18 horsepower, although the peak torque goes up to 14.1 newton meter and it comes in at a thousand rpm earlier. It is undeniably one of the best small capacity motorcycle engines out there. It's delightfully free revving and at the same time very tractable at low speeds. Plus, the variable valve actuation or VVA further gives it that extra top end performance on the open road. But that does not mean that the MT15 version 2 will blow your mind with its acceleration or power delivery. But it is definitely involving to ride. The delivery starts becoming a bit flat around 7000 rpm, but the VVA kicks in and switches to the high cam profile at around 7400 rpm to give you that extra surge for a better top end push. The engine continues to be mated to a 6-speed gearbox and gets the same slip and assist clutch, ensuring a light and easy-to-operate clutch lever. You will find the sweet spot of the motorcycle to be between 70 and 80 km per hour, but that does not mean that you're not going to enjoy it even when going over 100 km per hour. 
the engine transmits some vibrations when ticking over 80 kph but increases with speed. But it is not all that bothersome. The new Yamaha MT15 simply loves twisties and is quick with directional changes and it also knows how to hold a line. The version 2 update further brings a lot of worthwhile upgrades to the table, bits like the USC forks and more attractive styling. And the engine is a gem that loves being revved and puts a lovely smile on your face. Just that, the compact size can be a deal breaker for tall riders. But if you are well suited on size and you are looking for a motorcycle that you can feel connected with, then you should give this a very long and serious look.